Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to cover the Anchor System, the new PCI Anchor System in MLB The Show 22. We're going to cover exactly what it is, and then I'm going to show you guys three ways that you can use it to your benefit to be the best possible hitter that you can and get the most success. You'll raise your average, you'll get more RBIs, uh, you'll get more wins just overall in general. So you guys do me a favor though, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're going to go over all of those things here, but first I want to talk about what actually is the PCI Anchor System in MLB The Show 22. All right, so if you guys look at this screen right here, this screen is actually at the main menu, and if you go up, you can actually look through these menus and see it. This is a feature spotlight called PCI Anchor. We'll kind of read what it says here on screen. Freedom to customize the way you hit, and that is indeed true, all right? Choose one of nine locations in the zone to set your PCI finer control in certain areas of the zone. So there's several instances where this is good to use. And if you guys look at the screen right there, and we're using this image because it's really easy. Uh, we can sit here and explain it a little bit better as opposed to actually sitting here swinging and trying to explain it at the same time. We'll go look at some swings though here in just a second, okay? So right here, if you look at the screen, you've got the PCI, which is the yellow right there surrounding it. Then you've got the nine dots. There's nine little circles there in the middle of the screen, all right? What I kind of think of them is, is quadrants of the strike zone, all right? So you've got like your upper uh, your upper uh, left uh, quadrant, your inner right quadrant, uh, you know, it, it just, just wherever it is uh, where all those dots are. So what you've got is you can set your PCI to one of those places. And the way you do it is you move your left joystick up there to that place before the pitch is thrown. And then you're going to hit your R, your L3, excuse me, the joystick. You'll press it in uh, the joystick there and uh, it'll lock it in that place. Now it'll stay there until you move it out of that place. All right. So keep that in mind. If you want to move it somewhere else, the next pitch, it's going to be locked there also. So uh, you'll have to move it uh, on that next pitch, but that's how you actually lock it in. You can choose any of these zones though, that you, that you please uh, for your PCI anchor uh, to be able to set it up uh, and where it's great. It's great for people that are like, you're facing a, an opponent and they're spamming uh, a certain part of the zone or something, you're having trouble hitting something, that's where it's great. But three ways, I'm gonna give you guys three ways that this is insane. It's insane how good this works for you, all right? And while I talk about these, we're gonna actually go in and I'm gonna use the PCI system, uh, the anchor system, and we're gonna take some swings here, okay? All right, you guys, so we've gone into some custom practice here just so we can take some swings. And you'll see on the screen here, I've got my three uh, PCI anchors right here on the screen right now. Now, I was gonna tell you guys the three possible ways that this is really really beneficial to you if you can get smart with it and play really smart baseball because you could approach the game like a real hitter would, all right? So plate discipline. This is something that I've noticed. I noticed it in the tech test and I've paid a, a close attention to it while we've been uh, playing here the first 24 hours or so. And uh, and it's pretty impressive here. Uh, what I've noticed is my plate discipline is so much better uh, using this. And the reason is, is because I've been setting up my anchor uh, more here on this inside middle end part uh, for my hitters. And we're going to take some cuts here and you'll see I'm, there's a base set up the middle right there. Uh, what I've noticed is because I'm kind of zoning in looking for the ball in that area, I'm probably going to swing at too many of them right here and uh, ones that are outside of it. But the reason I, I feel like it's beneficial to me, man, Freddie Freeman just got into that one, but it's probably not out of polo. Uh, nice shot, though. Uh, because I'm looking for pitches in that specific zone or in the strike zone. And if it's not there, I feel like I'm able to lay off of more pitches that are outside of the zone. So if you pay attention to that, that's one way you can build your plate discipline up quite a bit. I picked uh, the worst time of day to actually take swings here too. It's really hard to see with this backdrop. Uh, man, I'm late on everything because I can't see the ball. But uh, but here we go. So that's the first way. All right. The second way and the second way is really, really key right here. All right. It's what I've been doing. And the reason I've been starting it where I said at those middle in spots is for me, it is really hard to get to those inside spots of the zone. That's probably the hardest spots for me to get to. Uh, so I've been starting it right there. Uh, on the inside middle uh, for uh, for lefties and then uh, on the inside middle there for righties also over here. Uh, but let's go back over here for Freddie. Uh, but, uh, and the reason is, is because it's really hard for me, like I said, to get to those inside spots. So if you take maybe your hardest spot, the most difficult zone that it is for you to reach in the strike zone, uh, no matter what the pitch is that's thrown, maybe, just maybe, you might have more success doing that. Uh, and you can actually uh, maybe hit those pitches a little bit better. Maybe the other pitches all over the zone you can hit anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal, but that's the pitch you struggle with. So that's a way that you can use it really well. All right. 
right, the last way here, the last way that we're gonna check out and use, and let's go ahead and switch to a right-handed hitter here while we talk about that. All right, here we go. We've got Trey Turner up here for us, a right-handed hitter that we're gonna use. That's probably a blooper. Maybe it's a hit. I don't know if they catch that or not. Uh, but the one we're gonna talk about here, the final one, when this is probably the most beneficial one where you've gotta really use your baseball IQ here, is it situational hitting. All right, situational hitting. And the way you can use this, you're probably thinking, how can I use this for situational hitting? That's kind of crazy. Uh, it's just dots, but it really is effective. Listen, if you're trying to hit behind the runner and what that is, is if you got a runner on first base uh, and you want to move him over to third and send that runner first to third, what you're really going to want to focus on is sending that ball to right field because then that's going to be the furthest uh, throw away from third base. So it's going to be a little bit easier for your runner to get there. So you want to hit the ball that direction. So hitting behind the runner is something you want to do. If you've got a runner on first base and you want to do that, let's go ahead and put a runner on first base real quick and we'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go into, we got to go to team practice here real quick. We'll keep using these guys. Runner on first, yes. There we go. We got a runner on first base. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to hit the ball to that side of the field right there. All right. So what I did to do that, and I didn't use the anchor system right there, is I tried to swing late. I tried to swing just a hair late. So we're not repeating the play. We've got a runner there, but we're going to try to do the same thing anyway. Uh, and we're going to try to go the other way with it. Now, if you swing a little bit late and you're aimed over there on the outside bar of the plate, you're probably going to hit the ball that direction. So that's a good way you can induce balls that way. If you need to hit ground balls, if you need to hit ground balls, I suggest aiming at the high spot in the zone. Uh, whichever side you end up putting it on, uh, left, right, or middle, uh, that doesn't really matter. That's up to you. But aim at aim at those high spots in the zone because you're if you aim up there, you're more likely to get on top of the ball uh, with your PCI up there, and then you'll get top spin on the ball and hit ground balls. If you're trying to hit a fly ball and get to a ball uh, that you want to hit down here, uh, you want to hit aim down here in the bottom of the zone, uh, left center or right with your PCI anchor. <coughs> Excuse me. And the reason that's going to be benefit you is you're going to be more likely to get under the ball uh, and get backspin on the ball and send the ball in the air. So that's good for getting sacrifice flies or getting the ball to the outfield uh, and just moving the ball around. When you're looking to get the ball on the ground, though, uh, you know, if you're looking to just uh, move a runner to third uh, when you got a runner on a second base or something uh, and nobody out, that's a, that's a great tool that you can use to get more RBI scored. But, man, those are three key ways. I'm going to tell you guys, if you can master these and really get these down, uh, with the system and with the PCI anchor system. And as the year goes on, we'll probably cover it some more as I start to learn more about it. But these are the key things right now uh, that I think will make you all a better hitter uh, in MLB The Show. Uh, as, as you guys, like I said, as I, as we get the year going a little more, we'll figure out some more of these things. But this is, this is really cool. I love this system. These three things, the plate discipline, uh, the start at your weakest spot, and then situational hitting. Those are going to be really effective in uh, in being able to help you out. I'm not hitting the best while we're here because I'm talking while I'm doing it. So it's kind of hard to pay attention and talk. That's why we all play in custom practice uh, while we record videos. A lot of uh, creators do while we do these for hitting videos and stuff. It's just a little bit easier sometimes uh, than try to do it in the middle of a game. But I uh, hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, man, do me a favor. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to this down here this time. Subscribe to the channel. Hit subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to join me for live stream. The live stream will be uh, here today at 10 a.m. Central. Don't forget about that. We'll catch you guys on that here later today. Thanks, y'all. Peace.